It's a big loss for NPP in the two row seats as BJP has uh, won uh, from the two row seat. Uh, I feel very happy, very proud. And this win is not only uh, my win, it is the win of all the people who are supporting me. It's with the win of uh, BJP and it's win against uh, corruption, actually. Yeah. So, uh, what would you like to say, the message to the people? Um, see, BJP is always against uh, corruption. So, we'll take a stand against corruption. We will try to curb all the corrupt uh, practices that has been prevailing in the district council. We'll try to change a lot of uh, this one. We'll uh, this one bring about uh, different uh, uh, this one, uh, resolutions in the district council to curb so many manipulations that has been happening in the district council for the last many years. Yeah. So looking at the trend, uh, NPP and Congress are in a very close battle. Yes. Say, uh, yeah, it will depend upon our uh, this one, uh, this one, uh, our high commands. We will always stand by the decision of our leaders. So it will. It is not my decision to take, but it is the decision of my party leaders. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for talking. So we was first reactions coming in uh, from BJP's Barnett Marak, who has won the Tura seat and big loss there for NPP. And you have heard uh, Barnett Marak spoke exclusively to Northeast Live, and he very clearly mentioned that. He will end uh, corruption and also let me tell our viewers that Northeast Live editor in chief Wazbir Hussain also spoke to Bernard Marak, BJP candidate from Tura and party state vice president. According to Marak, people have voted for justice above anything else. Mr. Bernard Marak, this is Wazbir Hussain from Northeast Live. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon and warm congratulations to you for winning the Tura seat. Your first reactions, we are live on Northeast Live. Yeah, we are very happy and uh, the people of Tura has actually voted for this one. Uh, this one, no? Uh, justice. Actually, we have stand, stood for justice in district council and we want to uh, curb all the manipulations and all the corruption in the district council. So people have actually voted for that. That uh, is the main, uh, yeah. You are the person who actually, in a way, one can say, you are the person who fought so hard about the charges of uh, corruption in the district council. You undertook, you filed this RTI application and uh, brought yes. things to the public domain. Are you feeling satisfied yes. today? Yes, very much. We are very satisfied and that is one factor of how, why people have actually uh, voted for BJP in a very uh, tough area which is actually dominated by the uh, NPP and the Congress. And it is a this one, chief minister's seat also which we have won and it is a clear message that people are actually, they seek uh, justice to all the manipulations that has been done in the past. So, Mr. Bernard Marag, you are the Vice President of the Meghalaya BJP, but the question is, uh, as of now, the NPP is leading in 10 seats. The NPP has already won uh, 10 seats so far, and Congress has won, uh, uh, you know, six seats. But my question is, if necessary, will the BJP join the NPP in the Garo Hills District Council? It will depend upon the, uh, this one, our party leadership. What is uh, their, their decision? We'll abide by the decision of the leaders. At the same time, we will be sticking to our ideology against corruption. We will be sticking to uh, anti-corruption uh, stand, even if we have to, even if we have to support the uh, NPP or any other party. But uh, it is entirely the decision of the party leaders. We will abide by the decision of the party leaders. Right, but 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 you are you 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 are also a part of the MDA alliance at the state level. So will it will it will it be automatically? Will you be an ally of the NPP if necessary in Garo Hills? That is what I am saying. That it will be the decision of our high command. What is the decision? We will abide by the decision of the high command. But what I am trying to say is that we will stick to the ideology of the party against corruption. Absolutely. Okay. Mr. Bernard Brown, yes. thank you very much for speaking to Northeast Live.